The carburetor brings fuel and air together in the perfect ratio for combustion. The carburetor has many tiny passages that route the fuel. If dirt or corrosion plugs these passages, the engine will run poorly or not start at all. Leaving fuel sitting in the carburetor for a month or more at a time can cause varnish and corrosion to form inside, restricting or stopping the flow of fuel. A carburetor can be cleaned and rebuilt, but often it is cheaper or faster to just simply replace it. Replacing your tool's carburetor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the intake tube from the air filter housing and the carburetor base. Now remove the screws that secure the base and the carburetor. I'll loosen the nut that secures the throttle cable to the carburetor. And now I can remove the cable. I'll crack open the fuel tank to relieve any pressure and then remove the fuel lines. Now we can install the new carburetor. As I install the carburetor, I'll need to identify which of the nipples is the incoming and which is the purge side. To do that, I'll place my finger over each of them and prime the carburetor. With this nipple, as I prime the carburetor, it's stiff and no air is passing through. I'll plug the other side. Now when I prime, you'll see the primer bulb doesn't want to return and a vacuum is formed at my finger. So this is the incoming line. I'll connect the incoming hose to the incoming nipple and then the purge line. Now I'll reinstall the throttle cable. I'll loop the cable through the throttle body, place the elbow in the bracket, and then tighten it with the nut. And now I'll secure the carburetor and the air filter base back to the engine. and I'll tighten the fuel cap that I loosened previously. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the intake pipe. I'll remove the diffuser from the pipe, install it back to the base, and now I can slide the pipe over it. And once the pipe's in place, I'll tighten both the clamps. And that's all it takes to replace the carburetor on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.